And we are back, Monterey, on tonight. And I would like to welcome to our show, for the very first time, show 100. Dina, why did it take you so long to get here? I'm a fool. <laughs> I should have been here years ago. Yeah, well, we've Thank been doing you. this now a couple of years. Right. And I know you can tell because you did this kind of television a little bit. live. See, there's not a lot of people that do live TV anymore except news anchors. Oh, well, you. Well, but but I'm an old time. No, you're right. So I've news been, anchors I've been do in this a long correct. time. You know, I started doing a dance party when Dick Clark was around, and I say Dick Clark now to people, and go, people go, "Who? Who is that?" Yes, Dick now Clark? you have to say Ryan Seacrest. Now, that's right. right. You, that's right. Oh, yeah. So young people, they know Ryan Seacrest, but they don't know Dick Clark. Right. But I started when there was a Dick Clark on a American Bandstand. We did a dance party show over wow. in Fresno. And that's how I started. So nice, finally, to have you Thank here. You. I'm so honored to and be part of this. Thank before you. we get started now, you have a few names. It's <laughs> Dina Ruiz, because that's how I first okay. met you. Correct. As a news anchor at KSBW right. many years ago. What year did you start at KSBW? 1990, Uno. 1991. 1991. 33 wow. years ago. Wow. I know. Well, I've been in yeah. broadcasting. You know, I sold produce with my father first, and then I got into broadcasting with my first TV station right. in 1985. So you're a little tiny bit ahead of me. A little Not bit. Not much. Yeah. But you got on air uh, before there was uh, uh, HD. Right. Thank God. <laughs> and before there was Internet. And before there was no, internet. no, wait, was internet was well, in infancy. I think it was just starting. Yeah. But you guys but weren't streaming anything. No, not back, then. Back no. at those days. Okay, yep. so then it was it was wonderful. I loved. And it. I heard this story. You can say it, or you don't have to. You met Clint at some event while you were an anchor. You're you are correct. I did. I actually wait. I. Well, we did, I'm, it's all it's all a blur now, it's isn't blur, that weird? Yeah. I haven't I haven't thought about it or told that story in so long. Someone tried to get me to go to be in a group called Yes for Carmel. Okay, it was a local community group. They said, right. "Why don't you come to this little meeting? Uh, you'd like it." When I got there, he was there, and they said, "Why don't you interview Clint at some point?" Ah. and I said, "Sure. Okay, that'd be great." Yeah. And then I did. And that, that was the first meeting. That was the first meeting, and it went. The interview was a blast. It went really well. And when I got back to the station, my bosses said they watched about twenty seconds of footage, and they said, "You're going to marry that guy." What? And I said, "What are you talking about? I had this boyfriend. I was crazy about who was an idiot." <laughs> and and Clint had his whole life going, and I said, "Dude, that's so weird that you would say that. Look at the age difference." Right? Yeah, yada, that's, yada, the first, that's just that's bizarre. The first thing people say. Oh, anyway, come on. Uh, come on. Then we kept bumping into each other, and then we bumped into each other at a nonprofit event for RLS for Robert Louis Stevenson School. Yes, yes. And it was very strange. We held hands under the table, and oh, we just kind of never let go. And it was very bizarre. Oh my! Goodness. And that was in '94. And so, so you were married a couple of years later? Yep, two years later. Two years later. Yes. And you have a beautiful daughter. I do. Whose name is Morgan. Yes. I love She's that She's 27 name. years old now. Oh, my goodness. That's my mother's maiden name, and is so that's it? how we went oh, with Morgan. that's yes. how you came up with Morgan. Yeah. I was always wondering about that. We, I just told this story yesterday, if you don't mind. We no, left please. the hospital. When I went and had her, I wanted to have her at Chomp at Community Hospital. But her dad had had... A little mole removed and it turned out to be a very large mole and they wouldn't let him fly because it was so many stitches oh. so I said hell I'll go heck I'll go down there <laughs> and and when I got to the airport they're like you can't fly you're nine months pregnant oh. so back then you know there were fancy friends around and somebody yeah. had an airplane and they were coming through and they said Dina hop on we'll take you down oh. so I go down there to see Clint and I end up having the baby down there, oh, and we had no name. Southern Cal. Southern Cal in Los Angeles at um, Cedar Sinai. Cedar Sinai. And I went in under an assumed name because when you get there, like it's true, the National Enquirer is there. All they're all standing around. They're waiting. like they're yeah. embedded. Yeah. yeah. It, that's all real. They're, yeah, they're waiting yeah. for the and celebrities so to show up. We went in as Dina Morgan. 
Oh, and wow. then when I left, I said, do we have to choose a name? And they said, no, you don't have to choose a name yet. Just you, you both have to come back in person within 10 days. Uh, to choose a name. And we were in L. I said, that's not going to happen. Just go with Morgan. Morgan. Because it said Morgan on Great. the bassinet. Wasn't that wonderful? So it worked out. Yeah. She, and what a beautiful name. She's a good Morgan. She's a, I like that. A yeah. good Morgan. And, and I know that uh, Clint was always a good friend of Morgan Freeman. Yes, He's a lovely guy. Great guy. He's a chill a guy. Lot, a lot of his movies. Yeah, definitely. So let's see. I have to go here. Let's see. KSBW, <laughs> when you met your Could ask me. Uh, your future husband, um, you were... Oh, you also did Candid Camera with Peter Fund. With another Fund. local. Yeah, Peter Fund. Right. And you did that for quite a while. I did. That was fantastic. I loved it so much. Uh and it was a great schedule for a mom because you only had to work on the weekends. Uh -huh. So it was really good. And then you also did uh, a series. Uh, well, no, you, was was Overtone first and then Overtone the series? Overtone was first. Okay, so then, how did the Overtone thing happen? I know you guys were filming in South Africa. Correct. Okay. Um, in South Africa in 2000, was that 2009 maybe, okay. 2008 or nine. Everything's a blur, I'm so sorry. Fog brain. What? No, but 2008 no, no. or 9, we were in South Africa. Clint was making a movie called Invictus. Yep. I was keeping the kids and myself busy. We went to this a cappella concert one night. They were so phenomenal. I made the whole cast and crew go the next day. I never have done anything. I never got involved in Hollywood wife crud. Yeah, but you but saw them. But I said, this is so remarkable. And said, they are. You guys have to come. Fabulous. And the next day, Morgan Freeman, Matt Damon, and Clint Eastwood are in the audience for these kids. Little kids, virtually 20, 19 yeah. to 23. They're young guys. Young guys. You'd met them, which is so cool. I did, I did. And so everybody was absolutely blown out of the water. They couldn't believe it. And nobody was mad at me afterward for making them go. And I thought, you know, I could do something for these guys and in you the did. U.S. Kind of. We almost you, got there. You, you brought them here. I did bring them here. They lived they, in our house. They were in concert at the uh, Sunset Center. They did. Do That's sun, where they we did saw. Sunset Center. In fact, they, Dylan, look and see yeah. if there's a picture. Because we had a picture taken at the Sunset Center when yes. they were on stage, backstage. Right. And uh, it's Clint and you and oh, Juliana Oh, I haven't seen me. that. Oh, my gosh. Look at I had a nice chubby baby face back then. <laughs> oh, that's really cute. That's from that's the really over cute. That's the overtone. I, have not, I haven't seen that photo. That's really neat. That's the, over, the camera cut me off, but that's okay. Doesn't oh, matter. that's really cool. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I so did, we'll get I you a copy know. of yeah, that. Yeah, I would like that. Well, you'll have a copy of this show, Thank too. Thank you. Anyway, so that was overtone. And yes, then, so that was a ride that I shouldn't have taken. Because I, that's why I have white hair. Ah. I, it's a, that was insane. <laughs> Don't get into the music management business unless you're a complete idiot. Oh, well. Like, no, I'm kidding. You, no, I didn't say that. You did Unless a, you have no, thick you, skin and you're really smart. You so did, I don't have either. You of did fantastic for that group. Thank you. They, they were up to national prominence when they were here. Thank you. And nationally. And if it wasn't for you, they wouldn't have gotten the Thank exposure. You. Thank you. They, they did go on Ellen DeGeneres. They did, yes. they did some big appearances. But that's, you know, that's anything connected to Clint. If he asks or snap back then, they, people say people yes. Say, so okay. we were at the right place at the right time. And then you did a reality show, Mrs. Eastwood and Company. I did. While you were managing Overstone. The that, How many episodes did you do? We the, did a whole season. Did so you? did we do eight or ten? Probably. And we were renewed, but... That is probably the reason I'm divorced. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Right Don't here on this show, show, we found out. Right? No, it, it's not the reason, but I'm sure it didn't help. Um, I pitched that show as a mom and a band, uh -huh. and that is how it got picked up. Oh, wow. And then things yep. have a way of morphing. I wasn't sophisticated and enough things to understand to oh, that goodness. I really wasn't sophisticated enough with anything but news to know that once they get a hold of a topic like this and they yeah. beg and they beg and they beg, can we just see your husband one time? Can the kids oh, be yeah. involved? Yeah. And then it morphs into something else. And I loved the production company, by the way. They Class did a great Acts. job. Oh, it was a great job. They did a great, a great job. Show. And well we done. were the second highest rated show to the Kardashian after Kardashians. Wow. Nobody knows that. They wow, all think wow, we wow, failed. Wow, wow. But when they offered me the renewal, I said, I'd rather stay married. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. So that's how that ended. That's how that ended. Yes. Well, you know, in life, there's always beginnings, middles, and ends. So 
I like your style. That's, yes. hey, that's what happens. You're right. All right, now let's move on to what you're doing now. Not you spend much. your time <laughs> behind the camera writing features for Carmel Magazine. Which I, that, that's really cool. And to everybody me. loves your articles oh, in Carmel Magazine. Thank you, Gary. You write for Coastal Canine. Right, they've just gone online, so oh, they're, cool. they're not doing print anymore but all right anyway. and uh, maui savvy 360 that's a new gig and that's a lot of fun because okay. i've been back and forth to maui for about 22 years you love hawaii i love hawaii my dad's there full time oh he in, is in okay. maui okay. and he lives kind of at our house half part do, of the time do you have a home there and a home here i do okay but i'm here full time this is you my are home. now you're i'm full time right. in you're pebble yeah and you're on the board of directors for Max's Helping Paws. Oh, my God. That's talk about an incredible nonprofit. Yeah. You're on Casa of Monterey County yes. and the California and that's court Museum. Appointed special advocates for kids in foster care who are going through the court system. Wow. Wow. And then you're also volunteering at the Boys and Girls Club of Monterey County. I've done that for, this since lady 2017. This lady is a busy lady. But I don't have a proper job. And if you don't have a proper job, you should be helping your community, for goodness sake. Right? And uh, yes. then we have to tell them how well educated you were. You oh, have God. a master's degree in creative writing from San Jose State University. Always go back and get your master's at 50 when you're the 50-year-old with the 18-year-olds. It's fun. And, yeah. It's fun. And you bring them breakfast every morning and donuts and junk food <laughs> and loan them $2 to go get us. No, anyway, it was it was insane. It was so fun. And, Dylan, pull, let's pull up the picture of Dina and her husband, Scott Fisher who you've known since high school. Oh, I'm wearing the same shirt. What a coincidence. Uh, yes, I've known him since 1980. And there's the canines. How many in that picture? Four dogs and one cat in that picture. Can you see? There's Lucy on top, the yeah. beige one. There's a tiny min pin between her and the pug. Yeah. And then there's a kitty cat who adopted us five years ago. Never wow. seen a cat in Pebble wow. in my whole life. Wow. And that thing showed up in our yard, and we had five dogs at the time. Oh. And then Tango, our little... Chewini at the bottom. Wow, wow, wow. So we were and busy you in the are house. Now a local. I don't I don't leave the house because you live here home. in Pebble Beach and yes. uh, you've been with Scott since twenty sixteen. Yeah, we started dating in twenty fourteen. We got married in twenty sixteen. Yeah. Okay. And you enjoy golfing concerts and taking care of the pack of the four dogs and the formerly stray cat. Yes. And I tell you, I I'm not joking around when I say it. I don't leave my house often. I go to the grocery store and golf. And for years, I didn't do much much more than that. I've had the same best friend since first grade. Wow. Scott's had the same pack since third grade. And those packs are married to each other or brother and sister, so we're all connected. So we you, don't do anything unless we go out with our kid friends. You are a local. And now, let me ask you this question. Sure. Because you have been in the public eye. When you go somewhere here, do people go, Dina, is that you? Does that happen now? I'm going to be dead honest with you. Yes, it does. And every single time it shocks me. <laughs> and that's the news factor, you guys. That's It was explained to me if you're on the news, you're in people's oh, living, living rooms. rooms every and day. people do think they know you. And I love it. I think it's so incredibly charming. And, and it feels like an honor. The recognition. And they say, well, when you recently talked about blah, 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 and I think, oh, God, I'm substituted that, in yeah. 10 years yeah, or yeah. 11 years. Yeah. And it's, I love it. It's really cute. You hear a lot of good stories from people. And I, yeah, it's Well, it's, you're a generous, really generous lady who will give the time to people because a lot of people who are presented with, oh, hi. And they want to spend time with you, and they want to tell you stories. But I, I know a lot about you, and I know you're oh, so Gary. nice. You Thank are. You. You're so nice I to people. I appreciate it. That's very nice. You, Thank you. You take the time to greet people. And you know what? Uh, something really interesting happened to me over at the Mission Ranch. You know, I, I went up, and I was waiting for this young lady over here, Katie. Your we fabulous co-host. My co -host, fabulous co-host. And we were going to have dinner. And there was a gentleman who sat next on the bar stool to me, and he goes, "Oh, you're Gary Morris," <laughs> <laughs> and it was the first what? time it happened to me. And how'd that feel? Well, it was like, "Oh my God, yeah, I guess television does work." Yeah, because yeah. you know, he said, "I love your show. I watch your show." I, you know, and he was going on and on and on. <laughs> and he said, so, "Well, thank you." So I'm no celebrity. I was around. I've been around a long time, right? Yeah. But I don't get how anybody in the public eye has the, the 
I should not say the right, but I was going to say the right to be irritated by that. No, then you don't can't put your be. mug out there no, if you don't, don't want to get recognized. No, it, I mean, I'm not looking to be recognized. I'm saying don't do this. Don't do Gary, this. If, if you are not going to take right? what comes with it. So I don't understand it. when people think it's intrusive. No, no. I, I don't know. I think the only bad thing about being a celebrity is when you're having dinner and someone comes up to the dinner table and says, will you sign this, please? Right, which just doesn't happen to me. <laughs> that kind of stuff does not happen to me. But I was a very good bodyguard for when it used to happen in my past life. Okay. I'd just say, can yeah. we wait a couple minutes yeah. and we'll meet yeah. you over there yeah, or whatever. Okay. My yeah. You know, how to, you know how to do it. You yeah. know how to do it. He, he well, wasn't thrilled about that. Yeah. That, and I'm sure that, you know, uh, that happens a lot yes. to him. And, yes. And so what can you say? He'd been doing it for 50, 60 years, so he gets the right to be okay. irritated. Okay, I'm going to give you this crazy idea that Gary has. Oh. Okay, you like crazy ideas? Always. And we're doing it live. This show is live on the air, so she doesn't know okay, what's coming. Okay, I don't coming. know a thing. Okay, you've heard of Madame Tussaud. Yes. Okay, Wax Museum. What I would like to see happen, and I've said it to some of the folks down at City Hall in Carmel, how about a... Madame Tussaud wax figure of Clint I think at City great. Hall, okay, mm -hmm. when he was mayor, so it'd be the 86, 87, whatever year it was that mm -hmm. he was, and then people can come up and have a photo taken with the Madame Tussaud wax museum figure of Clint, and the charge goes to charity. Oh my gosh, as long as there's one of you as well, I'm all for it. No kidding. It's a great idea. It's a wonderful idea. I don't know why that would be rejected. Well, will you help me? Yeah. Because, you know, well, I've no, got a lot. I don't know. No, wait, here's the no, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. No, when I say help me, no, it's, it's, it's simple. I've already presented it to a couple of the city council people who oh, are running for city okay. council. And a couple of, you know, there's the mayor, Dave Potter, now. Right. And perhaps a Dale Byrne. Uh, so I know a few of those folks over at City Hall in Carmel. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to see it happen. So how do you make something like that happen? I don't know. What do you do? Do you do well, a you change have to dot start org petition? Or? I, yeah, I don't know. You I don't have know. to start somewhere. I just threw out a term that I know nothing about because I'm old school. Anyway, yeah. But anyway. No, I think it's a really good idea, because, not goofing around. It would go, it would go for charity. Really and I mean, cool there's idea. a lot of tourists that come to correct. Carmel that would go, oh, you, are correct. you know what they even say today? Is Clint still the mayor of Carmel? All the time. I got that all the time back in the day. All the time. They say it all the time. Yeah, absolutely. If you meet, uh, my legal last name is still Eastwood. Okay. So, and that is because when I got remarried, so my daughter said, is it, right. is it fine it. that we keep the same last name? My husband's so great. He's like, of course. Then COVID happened. Yeah. So then we did, you couldn't do your documents. Then we took an international trip and I didn't have a passport renewed. So I had to do an emergency passport renewal and you cannot change your name on an emergency renewal. There so I have it for one more passport cycle Yeah. because I'm not trying to ride the coattails yeah. of that or anything. You. I hear you. But, um, Anytime you call your credit card company and they say, Eastwood, is Clint still the mayor? You're like, ah. Sometimes I say yes. Well, sure. Why not? They don't know. Go, yeah, he is. Why, yeah. why not? Why not do yeah, that? But, Dina, it's been so wonderful to have you thank tonight. Thank you, Gary. And, uh, anytime. What you know. <laughs> you have Not that to, you want my big mouth no, back, no, but no, anytime. No, Seriously, no, no. I love it. This is People great. People have said to me, are you going to have her on ah, the show? That's and so I cool. Said, and I said, I'm going to try. So that, now I got you as a guest. You have to come back oh, and be a co-host. Will Katie allow that, though, yeah, if I oh, do that? Yeah, I would yeah, love yeah. to do that. Okay, you're going to come back that would and be really fun. spend the whole three hours with me. I would love it, and Gary. And we're going to do one in the Thank future. Thank you. Okay. I, I'm on Pinky Promise. Wait, Pinky Promise, Pinky promise on that. All right. Oh, I'm serious. Thank you so much. That was so cool. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks All right. for humoring me. Dina Ruiz Eastwood right here on Monterey. Dina Ruiz Eastwood Fisher. We don't know what the That's hell right, the heck right. it is. I swore twice. Great. Sorry. <laughs> Dina Ruiz Eastwood, Eastwood Fisher. Fisher. That's why I go Dina Ruiz. Lots of names. Lots of names. Yeah. This lady has lots, lots of, of names. Lots of names. I do. And, and there are more that I'm called that I won't mention. Oh, okay. no. No, I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> what is I got? Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's get back to more. Andre Rue right here on Monterey on tonight. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. You're the best. Thank, Thank you, Gary. Thank you.